bring on board the management of Just Style as well. Abhishek Bansal, the CFO, joins us on the show because the earnings have been quite stellar. The stock is reacting quite positively with a gain of double digits. Abhishek, hi. The margins this time have come in as a bit of a surprise, almost 400 basis point improvement on a sequential basis. What led to this growth? And more importantly, what's the outlook for FI25 on margins? See, overall, as we see, FI24 was a year of efficiency for us. As you rightly pointed out that 4Q margins, we exited the year at about 26.1%. And for the full year, it was about 20.8%, growing more than 10 percentage points on a year-on-year -year basis. So this year, as a business, we focused on getting our growth at minimal cost. Uh, top line grew about 23% uh, for full year and 16% plus for fourth quarter. And costs have been very well controlled. So this is what has overall led to margin expansion. And for next full year, while we don't issue any formal guidance, we think we should be about 25% plus margins. Right, Mr. Bansal, this is uh, Vinny joining in the conversation as well. Good morning. And let's talk about your top line as well. That has seen a modest growth uh, of 5% on a sequential basis. And the overall uh, basis, when you look at it, there seems like a short-term pressure on the business sentiment due to inflation that I've seen, as well as elevated interest rates. So how are the customer moving around? What is the confidence that you're seeing there currently? Not really at this point of time. So if you see fourth quarter, collections grew about 14% year on year. We had about 305 crores of uh, collections during the quarter. So, so far things are seeming uh, okay for us. So despite uh, whatever is the health of uh, SMEs in the ecosystem, we are targeting that uh, for next full year, we should be growing at 15% uh, plus for top line. Can you spell out how much revenue contribution comes from the B2B segment with strong sales hiring for this segment as per channel checks? What is the revenue contribution expected over the next five years? So B2B segment, which used to contribute less than 20% about say three years ago is already at about 27% or so. And uh, this segment is likely to grow faster for us. So in next, say, around two, three years, this segment should definitely contribute anywhere around uh, probably one-third of our overall top line. Abhishek, also talk to us about uh, what's the growth plan for the MSME business going forward and how will you increase the number of paid subscribers in that segment because MSME as a space is coming up. Wanted to um, understand your outlook there? Broadly, if we see, we have a database of 44 million listings approximately as we speak. But the number of paying businesses are only at about uh, 490,000 uh, or so. So there is a significant scope for us to be able to monetize our uh, SME database. And uh, post-COVID, SMEs also have a far greater realization that they need to be present on an online platform such as Just Time to be able to get customers online. So this particular tailwind should enable us to keep growing our paid subscriber base as we move forward. And the company has cash levels of over four and a half thousand crores. Are you looking at any acquisitions? What's the plan to deploy the money? Any reward maybe for shareholders? So the cash balance at this point of time is about 4,625 crores. Focus has been on growing the core business. The cash currently sits on the balance sheet in an optimized manner, yielding about 7.2% pre-tax. As and when there is any clarity on either deployment or distribution of this particular cash, we will obviously uh, inform our shareholders. Okay, and just uh, any kind of strategic outlook or tie-up uh, that is there for FI25, specifically on the headline numbers and traffic growth? So as I mentioned, FI24 was a uh, year of efficiency for us. We have uh, tried to deliver on almost all key business parameters. FI25, again, endeavor is to build onto the foundation laid in last two years, 23, 24. So the target is to grow traffic at a healthy uh, double digit kind of uh, run rate in an optimized uh, cost efficient manner and be able to monetize uh, at 15% plus rate. And as I mentioned earlier, if we are able to be closer to year-end margins, I think 25% EBITDA margins should be 
uh, achievable could be uh, higher as well. Vishak for joining us. The stock is definitely excited on account of the outlook that you have shared with us. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.